In this video, I teach you guys how you can play Minecraft Manhunt for free using only a few command blocks. I will obviously be linking Dream's Patreon in the description down below since he came up with the whole idea, so he obviously deserves kind of the credit. Plus, this only teaches you how to do the basic Manhunt, um, just Speedrunner vs Hunter, not Speedrunner Assassin or any of his other videos like Tornado, Black Hole, Mob Control, etc. So if you want to get access to those plugins, you're going to have to become a Patreon member like me. Also, only a minute percentage of you guys are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see Manhunt videos. Um, I do regular Manhunt videos, so make sure to subscribe to see those kinds of videos. Enjoy. Okay, so in order to do this, this is the layout we need to have. Um, Let's start with the commands. Yeah, so this is the very first thing you need to do. Step one is set a death count objective named deaths. And this is basically just to detect when the hunter dies, so you can make him get a compass. Hello, it's me, Scott Gamer from the future. I need to realise that we slightly um, messed up this command. So the command is actually slash scoreboard objectives with an S space add space deaths with a capital D space death with a lowercase d count with a capital C with no space. So um, just imagine this all on one line and between all the words is a space except uh, death count, which is just one word, but count has a capital C. Um, so in order to track the speedrunner, or in this case, George, um, we need to type this command. So we basically need to set him as world spawn so that the compass can always point to him. So execute at George Sachi run set world spawn space tilde space tilde space tilde. So there are spaces in between each one of these. So that's basically setting George as the world spawn. You gotta make sure to make this a repeat command block and so it's always active. So yeah. it's always detecting where I am. So make sure that's repeat and make sure it's always active. And also, um, in this case, we don't want it as George. Uh, in your case, you probably don't want it as George Sachi. Um, this is the name of the speedrunner. So make sure to put the IGN of the speedrunner right here. And uh, so. Some of these commands are quite complicated. We'll make sure to leave them in the description so you can easily copy and paste them. Yep, we're talking very fast, beautiful. Um, so next, step three is to detect if I die, we want it to give me a compass um, on death, so you don't have to keep typing slash given if you're bad and you keep dying. So in order to detect if I die as a hunter, um, we want to do execute if score, skull gamer, or the IGN of the hunter, deaths, which is the name of the objective, make sure you have the same capitalization, matches one. So that's saying and that if my deaths match one, then it will power this comparator, which powers um, all this redstone, which sets off these three command blocks. Make sure this command block is once again repeat and always active. Um, so this powers all three of these command blocks. So um, first of all, it will reset the deaths of the hunter. So basically, basically the same thing, the same um, command here, except um, it sets my deaths to zero. Then it will give me a compass that's fairly straightforward so make sure to replace all these with the IGN of the hunter and it clears the compasses on the ground so when I die uh, I'm gonna drop the compass unless you have keep inventory to true so we just want to make sure that that compass gets cleared and um, so if you died with the hunter before uh, before you start for whatever reason the death count won't be equal to zero so make sure to press this button which will then set your deaths to zero just to ensure that um yeah this helps if you if you've like died or anything setting up messing around it'll just reset it so this isn't an issue anymore yeah and these are some important things you need to keep in mind as well so to prevent the chat from being spammed by command blocks do slash game rule command block output false because if you don't do it um this is what it looks like and it also gives away the coordinates of the speedrunner, which is helpful in some ways and very annoying in others. So you can keep that on if you really want to, but honestly, we recommend against it. So also when you start, you need to do slash spawn point at A um, and the on the actual world spawn, because if you die as the hunter, if you don't do this, you'll respawn on the speedrunner. Um, this is to make sure that you spawn on the right place and also don't forget to either give the hunter a compass at the start um, so you can use slash kill or slash give um, then the hunter's IGN then a compass or slash kill so now let's just prove that it works so we've died we've got a compass and, and the compass is gone 
Oh yeah, yeah you almost moved. Okay, wait, let me just kill myself again just to prove that the uh, compass on the ground gets broken. There we go. Or in the sky, maybe. Um, yep, yeah, it's gone. It's and gone. now just show that it's tracking me. Okay, so you go and hide. Um, oh, I'm going to hide, okay. Okay. I'm very sneaky. Okay, I'm going to track you now. Okay, so compass. Oh, oh god, okay. He's right there. There we go, perfect. And it points around, round in a circle. It shows that he's right here. Oh no, it found me. jump over. It, yep, okay. That proves that that completely works. And when we die, the compass it's gone. is gone from the And you get it back. And in our inventory. Perfect. Um, that pretty much concludes it for this basic tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I suppose we'll see you later. Make sure to watch some of the other videos. Ciao.